Hi everybody, I'm Philip Goodman from the Drewsdale Real Estate Group and Keller Williams Group One Inc. in Reno, Nevada. I'm here today with Sabrina Karstensen, our Minden Gardnerville expert. How are you doing today, Sabrina? I'm great, Philip. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thank Good. you for asking. Uh, so last last month we were down at Stoddick Park and uh, in the middle of July we had high demand, low inventory, and rising prices. But as the roller coaster of buying in northern Nevada is coming on the downhill, what's happening down in Minden and Gardnerville? I'm so glad you asked that question, Philip, because with winter quickly approaching, we are facing a couple price reductions and homes are staying on the market a little longer. And with school st already started, families have, for the most part, found where they want to buy. Yes, they have. Here we are on crenohomesforsale.com, the Drewsdow Group's website. And when you scroll down and click on either Gardnerville or Minden, you'll get an in-depth report about the neighborhood. Let's look at Gardnerville for a moment. And uh, Gardnerville sits south of Carson City along the same latitude as Lake Tahoe. Now here's what stands out to me, Sabrina. The average price of 176 homes is just under $800,000. Is this a typo or is this right? <laughs> that is not a typo, Philip. That data is correct. Don't let that number scare yeah. you because you can still find your affordable family home in the ranchos between three hundred fifty and four hundred thousand. And if you go down to Minden a little bit, you can still find a home between four and six hundred thousand. Sabrina, as we're looking at some of these million dollar properties in Gardnerville, the question becomes what's the opportunity cost of spending a million dollars on a property in Reno versus a million dollars that much farther south in Gardnerville? the acreage and the privacy. Because I noticed that a lot of the Montreux, St. James Village, all of those, they have those high priced homes and the gated community, whereas so do we in this area, in the Foothill area, they are also gated communities, but they're on acreage. Whereas the other ones, the higher priced ones in Montreux, Arrow Creek, all of that, they're on one acre or less versus these ones where they're on three acres, four acres, five acres you are still close enough to all your creature comforts. You're within 20 minutes from your grocery stores and your gyms and your kid activities, whatever you have planned for your family, um, as well as that private, that private feeling, that feeling of being on the outskirts. Sabrina, thank you for that in-depth update about what's happening in Gardnerville. If you're ready to go view some of these really great looking properties in Gardnerville, you can contact Sabrina at the information you see on your screen now. If you did find this information helpful, please share and like it on your social media too. For Sabrina Carstensen, for the Drewsdale Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group 1 Inc., I'm Philip Goodman. We'll see you next time.